Hi everyone, my name is Boss, and today we'll be talking about tags. Uh, we use tags within the Meraki dashboard everywhere we can, and um, may, some of you may not know how to use tags. So in this case, we are going to uh, use two examples uh, where we use the tags um, in our daily administration. So, first of all, let's create an admin that's not a specific admin to one or multiple sites, but he or she is going to be an admin for any network containing the same tag. So in this case, we have two networks with the tag admin rights, and we're going to edit an existing, or we can add one as well, add an, ad, uh, an admin to make them an admin based on the tag. So in order to do that, we go to organization, go to administrators. In this case, I already created one admin. So MC Hammer is the one. Currently, he's still a full admin, uh, but we don't want to do that. We just want to say none and add privileges just based on this certain tag. So in this case, we add, and it already found like top of the list, the admin right tags, and we can grant them the desired or required uh, access to the network. So either full, read-only, monitor, or guest ambassador. So in this case, we'll choose full, we click update, click save, and now we see that the privilege type has changed from organization to admin right. So for example, as an example, when we add a new network and we add them this certain tag, MC Hammer is directly updated and he's able to manage that network as well. I think very useful for companies that open or change a lot of locations. So second thing I wanted to show you today is um, administration of switches uh, based on port access. So, for example, a lot of customers are doing uh, co-management of the network together with their managing partner, service provider, or whatever. And um, in order to manage like access to the network, you might consider changing rights for specific uh, ports. So, for example, the customer is able to edit like all access ports, but the uplinks are only manageable through the managing service provider. So how does it look like? Well, I'm going to show you now. In this case, we go to Network Y, we select Administration, and we see that we already have um, a Network Administrator, Vanilla Ice in this case. Um, Vanilla is currently a full admin. In order to um, change that, we need to create a port privilege first. So we go to Add Port Privilege, say, OK, touch this. So now we need to select uh, the tags um, which the ports have um, to, to, to make a difference between the ports we can and we can't edit. So in this case, we choose can touch this, and I'll show you a little bit later on how that looks on the switch. So any port with the tag can touch this is able to be managed for admin with this tag, with this privilege type. So we click save. Then we go to vanilla ice which is currently uh, like a full admin. And now we see that we've got a new option in the list stating can touch this. So in this case, we'll click this one, click save, and the rights are applied. So how does it look like? Well, first of all, let me show you how the switch configuration looks. So go to all the switch ports here. And you can see that we have already tags in place with can't touch this or can touch this. So again, the uplink and um, stacking ports like under the bottom those are can touch and the other ones are touch so let's log in to the dashboard with our uh, vanilla ice account and see how that looks like so try to log into dashboard we're going to verify that our rights are working correctly so we go to switch and then switch ports and for the ease of use, we're going to show the tags here as well. So, add over here a little bit more. There we go. So, our first port has the tag can't touch this. So, we shouldn't be able to change this one. So, let's try and see what happens. We try to click edit. So, hey, oh, by the way, you're modif modifying an, an uplink port. Um, let's change the tag, for example. Let's, let's put in a different tag. Haha. Uh -huh. And push update. Hmm, unfortunately, that didn't work. 
you don't have the right permissions to modify this port. So we are prohibited to make changes to the restricted ports. So let's see if the other ports are able uh, to make changes to. So let's try the other one. Can't assist, so put edit. Um, let's recall this um, and say, uh, uh -huh, I can make changes. We push update and hooray, it worked. So you can see now that through the simple use of tags, we are able to prohibit or allow access of modifying certain ports. So I hope this has been informative for you and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you and bye-bye.